Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today we're going to be going through the setup of a Blade Vortex 250. Now, it's a fairly simple process as long as everything is set up correctly right out of the gate. Now, to get going here, we're going to power up the copter and then bind the radio. Binding. DFMX 11 milliseconds. All right, now, now that we've got it bound, we'll see the setup wizard on the screen here. Before we get started with the setup process, we want to go through and change the rudder and the ailerons to be reversed and set the travel to be 120. That's going to make sure that you have full throw on all your sticks and the setup wizard's going to complete properly. So right now it's telling us to center all the controls. So I'm going to put this here to make it easier on myself. I'm going to center that throttle. Now it's going to tell me to do the roll. I'm going to hold that over. Return them to normal. Do the yaw control to the left. Put them back to normal. Throttle to minimum. Back to normal. Move the pitch deck back, which is going to be my right. This is detecting which mode the radio is in. So I'm going to hold that one. Left stick back and left. Back to normal. Now it says to level it. So if you didn't have it level before, make sure the quad's nice and level. You're going to go right stick back and hold. And then back to normal again. And now you're going to have a pretty noticeable reaction to the copter when it's ready. Yes, it's playing music for you. Oh, it's not done yet. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> now it's all ready and we're going to start seeing the status on our on-screen display here. It says that it's disarmed because the motors aren't armed right now. Acro mode, which is the acrobatic mode, when we're getting started we don't want that on. So we're going to switch to horizon stabilized mode that's going to level it out automatically. We're going to see our battery indicator, our current draw, and once we're in the air we're going to have a countdown or a, a stopwatch function letting us know how much flight time we have. Then once we get back on the ground and we land, then we're going to get a status display of how long we were in the air and our battery uh, levels, that what they were. So very cool. Next time we are going to go outside and start flying this thing. So that's setting up the Vortex 250. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse. We'll catch you next time.